That's Gary. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming. Is that you told me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're here at the Melbourne Guitar Show 2018 uh, with Gary Rizzolo at the Rizzolo booth. Come on. <laughs> These are Gary's beautiful guitars. Thank you very much for having us here to this, this weekend, Gary. Looking forward, forward to a good weekend. Beautiful guitars. We always do, don't we? Yeah. That's one of Gary's flat tops. Specs on that one. 70. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Specs on that. It's a guitar. <laughs> Six strings. <laughs> There's my little ukulele. My leaf hole seven strings. Apparently my favorite. I've been Six string. Oh, check this out. This is uh, this was wasn't finished at the last show, wasn't it? Here. Except for years ago. Yeah, look at that. The hummingbird inlay. Yeah. Six string bass. Beautiful. And then I remember this one. This was one of four Les Pauls that Gary built a couple of years ago as well. That's a gorgeous human find one sitting in this house. Crazy. When I when I become a billionaire, that's gonna be mine. Nice. Don't sell it. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> good. Keep buying those tax tickets. <laughs> Peter, it's Felix and Rowan. Now, it's the Melbourne Guitar Show 2018. Rowan has just sold his uh, Yamaha. Uh, his, his trusty ex we had that since what, 2013? Yeah, had yeah, that for like five, five years. years. Yeah. And you sold your baby. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So, what did you get? Ah, uh, secret. It, 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 actually is it, is, it is. All right, okay. So yeah. we're gonna have to wait. So we have to wait. We, we do a reveal on the like video. Cut in for this later. Okay. So as far as I'm aware, he only has a Strat now plus a secret guitar. So <laughs> playing jazz gigs and shoe gigs on the Strat and stuff. Jesus. How's that? How's that holding up? I have All right. five from everyone yet. So. <laughs> <laughs> Portable alternative to a flat top. This will be your first flat top that you're actually going to buy for work. I'm not buying it though. <laughs> okay. Maybe actually. Yeah. He's looking. He's looking. Hey guys, I'm here with Luke Eberl. Sorry, Eberl? let's try to start that again. Eberl. 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 Yeah, okay. Hi there guys, I'm here with Luca Burrell, friend from Gas TV on our Facebook um, su support hey, group. How hey you all doing? Luke. <laughs> so Luke's here uh, with Cargill Guitars, friends of his, down there. And he's, that's right, and he's brought his own little beauty here, which Rowan is having a go at. <laughs> Tell us a 
bit about this guitar? Yeah, Luke? sure, I'd love to. So this guitar, what we've got here is an all-Australian built guitar, yep. all-Australian timbers. So we've got a silver Kwandong soundboard nice. uh, from Queensland. We've got a camphor laurel back and sides with a beautiful striped uh, pattern on it. Uh, we've got a Queensland maple neck. We've got a Gigi fretboard and Gigi head plate. We've got Kuba bindings on it as well. So they're all dry Australian timbers, like desert timbers. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of this one. It's, it's all Australian. It's gorgeous. What I love about this, Luke, is the, uh, I like that stripe up that fretboard. Do you see that? And it almost joins up to the, to the, head, to the headstock there. I think the Pagelli design that they have. This is American, man. It's quite, it's quite pretty. Do you want to try it? You're not going to hear very much here at all. Your secret guitar? No. No? I'm gonna to try to guess what your secret my guitar is all as we walk around. Guitar. Your what guitars? This is my want to be guitar. You want to be guitars? I didn't think I didn't think you for a shredder. I'd like to think I was a shredder. I'm probably not a shredder. I wish I was a shredder. Okay, so in your secret guitar isn't an Ebeness. Is it? It isn't. It... <laughs> He's such a tease. Uh, maybe it's a Satriani. Oh, could it be a Satriani? Yeah, I don't think a trio would appreciate that. That's um, a It's a Pat Matini signature. So the Pat Matini was nice? Uh, it was good, but it wasn't. I mean, Is that your secret guitar? No, no it's not. So it's your secret guitar. Um, is your secret guitar one you're going to hang on for a while, or is it a transition guitar? I don't know. Mm. Mysterious, sir. Mysterious, sir. Yeah, mysterious. <laughs> First 
joke I ever did was a, um, a Tweed Baseman. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tweed Baseman. And that sort of took off with the help of uh, Brick Kingman. Right, okay. He, um, he actually bought the second one, so... Wow. Yeah, okay, yeah, man. so that kind of kicked off then. Yeah, yeah. And it sort of evolved from that, you know, there was yeah. a lot of um, interest with the Tweeds, you know, oh, yeah. so I was started to actually branch that out, but at the same time I was making speaker cabinets too, so yeah. it wasn't just building, yeah. building amplifiers, but... It was, but the basic principle is that you you had you basically built hand wire everything. Everything so was hand wired. It's basically custom made. That's right. Even the cabinets, you know, the the handmade. There's no right. there's no mass mass produced. So actual woodworking and. That's it. That's it. Glue and sweat. That's it. And, yeah. 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 Right. yeah. You cut yourself your bloods in there. Just old school. <laughs> That's what I like. Just That's old school. Fantastic. Yeah. Do you find when you put two guitars together, they breathe and another pops up out of nowhere? Then when you try to explain that, your other half looks at you like you're crazy. If so, click here to subscribe to Gas TV because multiplying breathing guitars is a real thing.